Hello everyone and Kushal from the Technique Rex. Today I will show you the review of Android 5.0.2 Lollipop on my Moto E, first generation. This is not a soak test update, it's official from Motorola. You can see the new and improved notification menu, the new and improved menu, which is completely wide. And in the about phone menu, you can see that the model number is Moto E and the Android version is 5.0.2. If you type if you tap this car a couple of times, it will show you a lollipop. Keep tapping to change colors and after some time it will show you the bird skin. The notification menu has also been changed a lot. In spite of that simple layout, you will see the tabs. You can see the screen by tapping the pin, small pin. By this feature, your phone cannot be go to, to any other feature. In spite, you unpin that. You can unpin that by tapping the back and the overview button at the same time. You can see, I'll tap that. The screen is now unpinned. You can get the recents by pressing the overview button and then swiping the apps left or right. You can also tap the cross to close that app. When there will be no apps, it will show your recent screens appear here. There is a complete new UI. And is that whenever you open an app, the the notification bar color changes to the app UI. You can see it's blue for the Play Store. And when you open the side menu, it changes to transparent. It's completely new fe features. You can see there is a complete new dialer, small buttons, and the call button is also small. The menu button has changed. I'm using Nova Launcher, so it's not fully stock. You can launcher by pressing home and the launcher it's quite laggy not that laggy but it's laggy only when uh, the greatest lag which has been seen while tapping the overview button or by pressing the home button you have seen that the UI is black for the menu I have been using Nova Launcher. The Motorola has changed the gallery icon for the Lollipop update. For updating your Moto E to Lollipop, you need a software called Motorola Update Services, which Motorola will flash. You need to download it manually. You can see, I'll show you services we see more services this is an upgrade update to the over the air installer the download system update you require it installer on Moto G first generation Moto E Moto X first generation and Moto G with 4G LTE So that's all. Thank you for watching and like the video and share if you want. This was a video about the technique breaks.